Hello everyone, and welcome back to Mass Effect, the body count run. I'm G, and we just talked to Ilos, just figured out everything that was going on, to a certain degree anyways. And we are in the end game, as I said before. Oh god, gonna miss the roots. Um, yeah, we are getting very close to the end and to the last kill. Perish! Yay! I murdered some gap. I wonder if the Mako, like, levels up at all as I level up. I really doubt it, but, you know, I do, I do wonder. Because things do seem to go down a lot easier than they used to. Oh boy, oh no no no, turn, oh my god. Oh boy. The Mako is... Where are you going? I swear to God, the Mako's like a horse, but like a really obnoxious horse. Hmm. Dead said there's enemies, but I don't see them. There they are. Yay. Small babies. Perish. Come after me, I dare you. Did I kill all of them except for the big one? No way. Yeah, I did. Uh oh. I should probably zoom in, huh? That might help with things. And. Yay, you all died! Come out, come out, wherever you are. Hey, hey you died too. Hee 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 hee. Homicide is fun. Well, I guess it's not homicide; it's deathicide. But you know, whatever. Oh my god. Oh. Yeah, like realistically, I know that I could make it a little easier to control if I just slowed down. But my god, there is only one speed. So essentially, I just have to go them, go them, go them, hop forward. Like a weird, dumb frog. Perish. Yay! Hit me! Fight me! Give me a hug. Wait. Wait. Okay, I am going the right way. Oh my god. I have 99 repair modules. Here, let's just... Oh my god. Yeah. Pew! <laughs> so, uh, how do I use those? I just kind of want to... It's not first aid. Uh... I don't know how to use those. I've never had to before, in all fairness. Okay, well, I suppose it doesn't super matter. I mean, like... Eh. What are they gonna do? Shoot me and kill me and make me dead? God, I love this shot. Such a good shot. Just you come over the hill and there's just the ghosty plants and then BAM. Then the conduit. Mass Take effect crap. relay. We don't Mass have time relay. to admire the view. We have to get through that relay. And these geth aren't gonna make it easy on us.
Oh boy. Oh my god. Yep, yeah, right, 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 right. I forgot. This is a timed thing. Okay, wait. No. Okay, I need to be very careful with this one because if I fling around too much, I can just straight up die. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay, yeah, follow the flat part. Oh my god, oh no 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 Oh, I'm cutting this a little too close for comfort. And we're almost there, we're almost there. Yeah, that was entirely too close for comfort. But I did it! This is my favorite piece of storytelling in all of uh, Mass Effect 1, just, you know, that's just sitting there, and you think initially that, you know, oh, okay, it's just, let's just wait for these dragon teeth to do their thing, but like, it's, it's just, it's just hanging out there, and you're like, okay, well, this is fine, this is a decoration, you know, everybody's really jazzed about the mass relays because, you know, it's the way that they get across the galaxy. But then it's not. It's an actual mass relay. And it's so cool. Because it's like, oh! It's, it's foreshadowing in a weird way. love the sense of scale in this segment of the game. It's just, it's so well done, like you just look and you just see this massive form off in the distance, and just Sovereign's got the entire Presidium Tower just, you know, in its grip, and it's, oh, it's so good, it's so cool, I love it, I love it a lot. Yeah, it's caused problems! That's right, become dead. Perish. Did I get you? Whoa. No. But you did get me. Neener. Neener. Perish. I like this gun a lot. This is a good gun. 
Is there more? Yes, there are. There are more. Good job, G. I'm just gonna level real quick because apparently I can. Okie dokie, I'm back. Let's go. Let's go murder in it. Oh boy, I just love killing. Fair. Now it gets fun. Now it gets fun. What do you think this is? A game. Think this is some sort of game, Gerus? Gerus Vakurin? Perish. Perish. No. You die. You must die. You must die. Enemy is everywhere. Uh, hello. Punch. Punch. Yay. I didn't even shoot him. I should probably be using my powers a little bit more, but uh, this gun is just so good. Well, somebody's jamming me, and I don't, frankly, appreciate it. Ow! Dick! Oh, oh, there's more of ya. And there's just kind of corpses around. Floaty, floaty corpses. It be that way. We've all been there. We've all just had corpses floating around the room every once in a while, right? Just me? Well, that's awkward. Well, that says something about my hobbies. Oh. See, I'm always one who's a big fan of really accurate weapons. So, like, the fact that the uh, assault rifle is really bad in this game makes me really sad. Why can't I run? Uh, average electronics. Override. Yeah, sure. Now I can run. What was I saying? Yeah, the fact that the uh, sniper rifles are really bad in this game makes me very sad because I like sniper rifles most of the time. I like just, you know, just get one or two shots off and they're Watch dead. Shield. Yeah, I can probably put shields up now. But, uh, yeah. In Mass Effect, I believe three had this one gun that was very, very tasty. I believe it was called the Indra or something. That, uh, basically it shot at about the speed of an assault rifle, but with the accuracy of a uh, sniper rifle. But just, you know, with lower damage, of course. And, oh, that was my baby. Because you go, you throw a few shots at somebody, and it would all be good. Yeah, I lost shields too. I lost my respect for your shields. I don't know what I'm saying. Perish. Come at me, Juggernaut. I'm the Juggernaut. Reach. Okay, let's get into some cover. My boys are gonna die. Because that's what they do. But I'm gonna take out these towers super quick. Boys, where are you dead? Ow. Wow. I think that's all of them. Boys? Why are you dead? Yep, yeah, okay, I don't have reload on that yet. Recharge. I don't know. Three something. Rebiested. Perish. Well, Garrus, I guess you're getting left behind. Or at least your corpses. Which, you know, I suppose you wouldn't be too broken up about because you're too dead to be broken up about it. But, you know, whatever. Who is shooting at me? I'm frankly outraged. <gasps> Ow. Jesus. I will kill you. I will destroy you. <laughs> I am become NPC. Enemy is, in fact, everywhere. I'm not planning on holding any lines, though. That is, frankly, irresponsible. Okay, can I? Yeah, they can. Delightful. Garrus, you're back, and you're only kind of dead. Well, let's just... Garrus, why didn't you heal? Let's play tic-tac-toe. One, two, three, four, 
five, six. Okay. It's weird, Tic Tac Toe. But Garrus, you shoot. You're Rex. Where the hell's Garrus? I don't know. Ooh. Urgh. Those go down in three shots, and the little ones go down in two. Okay, let's hope I don't suck too much going into the finale. Hey, <laughs> it begins. Oh, there's gotta be get there. There they are. Got him. I like being very far away from my enemies. Because uh, while it is fun to do the vanguard thing and rush in and punch them in the head, uh, it's a lot safer to not do that. Although, I do love me some Knife Hands McGee action. Wow, miss me with that. Cool. Please tell me I can quick save here. No, I can't. Okay, well. Time to go into the final battle. So I actually went a slightly different route with that in the uh, original recording here. Uh, I ended up not actually getting the renegade uh, the ending thing where he uh, shoots himself. Apparently, if you don't get him to shoot himself, he just falls through the glass and gets impaled by a giant chunk of glass. Which like, Jesus. Vigil's data file worked. I've got control of all systems. Quick, open the station's arms. Maybe the fleet can take Sovereign down. See if you can open a communications channel. The destiny section. Main drive 
lives offline. Kinetic barriers down 40%. The Council is on board. I repeat, the Council is on board. Normandy to the Citadel. Normandy to the Citadel. Please tell me that's you, Commander. You were expecting someone else? We caught that distress call, Commander. I'm sitting here in the Endura sector with the entire Arcturus fleet. We can save the Ascension. Just unlock the relays around the Citadel and we'll send the cavalry in. You'd sacrifice human lives to save the Council? What have they ever done for your kind? This is bigger than humanity. Sovereign's a threat to every organic species in the galaxy. That's why you can't throw away reinforcements trying to save the Council. Hold them back until the Citadel arms open up and the human fleet can go after Sovereign. What's the order, Commander? Come in now to save the Ascension, or hold back? And here we go. The last kill of the body count run. Time to kill the Council. Hold off, Joker. We're not sacrificing human lives to save the Council. Keep our ships back until they can get a shot at Sovereign. I hope you know what you're doing, human. Don't let the Council die in vain. All Alliance ships, all formation. Wait for a shot at Sovereign. Nothing else matters. I repeat, nothing else matters. It's the Alliance! Open a comm channel! This is the Ascension. We're taking heavy damage. Guardian defenses are over... Kinetic barriers are offline! Commander... They closed the channel. Sure, he's dead. He's dead. Say though, this is this guy. Wait, where where are you? Where are you? No, yep. Jesus. Okay, and lift, lift. Oh, goddamn! Come on, come on. Okay. Down, no matter what the cost. 
Oh boy, and we're back. Oh boy, we're back. Uh, where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? There he is. There he is. Oh dear God. Goodbye. Oh. Okay, you know what? Let's just... Oh my God. What the hell? Jesus. So hard to find him. There he is. There he is. There he is. I think I got a warp off. Wow, this is a lot hairier than one casual. I've always uh, played Mass Effect one casual. I'm sure I've mentioned this before, just because I'm here for the story. But uh, now that I am slightly better at video games and can not play it on casual, oh my god. Stress! <laughs> We got your message, Ambassador. What's all this about? No need to get worked up, Captain. I'd like to end this meeting with all my teeth still in place. You should thank me for what I did. If the Normandy were still grounded, we'd all be dead right now. I understand, Captain. You did what you had to do. That's not why you're here. We need to talk about what happened to the Council. Commander Shepard did the right thing. We had to hold our fleet back to go after Sovereign. It was the only way. I agree, but this also presents us with an opportunity. The Council is dead. The galaxy is looking for leadership. The Citadel fleets were decimated in the attack. The losses have made the Alliance stronger. If we step forward now, nobody will be able to stop us. The Council was always holding us back. When I saw the opportunity to get rid of them, I took it. Good God, Shepard. How can you even say that? 
Don't act so surprised, Captain. We all know it's true. Sacrificing the Council assured our victory over Sovereign. The end justified the means. We humans understand that. It's what makes us stronger than the others. What are you saying? The galaxy needs leadership. Real leadership. When a crisis hits, we can't be paralyzed by debate like the old Council. The new Council must rule with a single voice. It must be assembled from one species alone. Humanity. The rest of the galaxy isn't just going to bow down because we tell them to. We'll need the fleets to bring them in line. The other species are scared. They've never faced anything like this before, and they don't know what to do. They want us to step forward. They believe in humanity because of you. Your ruthless pursuit of Saren and the Geth, your defiance of the Council, that's what humans are capable of. That's how we can defeat the Reapers. The others will follow us, Shepard. They know where their only hope. We will have a human council with a human chairman. The ambassador's right. I may not like it, but we can't deny the truth. Given everything you've done, Commander, the Alliance will want to know who you think our chairman should be. We need someone who understands how politics really works. You've shown you know how to play this game. He is the logical choice. So what happens now? You two can argue politics all you want, but the Reapers are still out there. They're coming. And I'm gonna find some way to stop them. Shepard's right. We're headed for war with the Reapers. If we lose, it's the end of all life as we know it. And no other species in the galaxy truly understands what it will take to survive. The other races will have to follow our lead. We need to take control. It's time for humanity to rise up and seize its destiny. Alrighty, and that is the end of Mass Effect 1. So, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do a review of the game, because that's been done to death. So many people have played this game, so many people have done their own reviews. What I instead am gonna talk about is just the body count run in general, and sort of uh, where it's headed and uh, what it was. So, uh... Mass Effect 1 in its entirety, like, very, very good game. The side quests do a lot of world building that isn't necessarily tied to the main plot, which you can see is a good or a bad thing. I can definitely see how with the body count run and just its structure, how it could be a little bit difficult to follow exactly what side quests were happening when and why. But, uh... Overall, I think that's just kind of a symptom of the fact that uh, you're just picking up a bunch of quests hither and thither, and that's just RPGs in a nutshell. Some of the uh, some of the kills that we did were awesome and great, and you know, a good time. Some of the actions that we took, you like, you know, punching. Uh, to reporter uh, Khaleesi Benzin and Al-Jalani, you know, some of those people are gonna be like, well, this isn't that weird. This is, you know, something that I've done every single time I've played through Mass Effect. But uh, the body count run isn't just about that. It's about doing all those things that, you know, maybe you wouldn't want to do. Maybe you're just trying to do a Paragon run. Maybe you're trying to be a good person. Maybe you're just playing nice with Kalisa and you just don't want to be a dick, maybe, you know, all that. But it's also about doing the really sucky ones. The ones like Talitha, the ones like Chorbin, the ones where 
you have no reason to hurt them. You have no reason to kill them. But there's content there anyways. Like, the game developers made those outcomes. They developed them. They put care into them. They had people record for them. And that's sort of, like, what it all boils down to, is that there's so much to these games that is, as far as I'm aware, generally untouched. Or, I guess generally untouched is the wrong word, but, like, just commonly untouched. There we go, there's a better word for it. Just things that you're incentivized heavily not to do that you can still do, that they still made content for. And frankly, going through those and seeing all of the things that uh, became of what we did and why we did them, it, it was amazing. It was really, really interesting to see how things turned out differently than in my previous runs and just what I've seen across the internet in general. <sighs> yeah. But anyways, going forwards into the other games, they get a little bit trickier to uh, juggle the body count run. This one's fairly straightforward just because there's four main quests, you do them, you kill the people, you make sure that you've done the side quests as early as you can. The other ones, there's a lot more factors to consider, which is going to be really interesting to work with going into those. But overall, despite the fact that, uh, you know, it sucks to, you know, kill all these people and just murder the innocent and be an awful person in general, there's... There's, there's something to be said for just the experience and how well it's crafted. But anyways, let's uh, let's get out of the credits. I don't want to listen to that song anymore. I mean, it's a good song, but... Overall, just... Yeah. An incredible game. I love it a lot. There's so much to be said for it and how awesome it is. And there's also a few things to be said for how it could be improved upon, and I'm really looking forward to Legendary Edition coming out, because hopefully it'll uh, fix up whatever uh, needs to be fixed. But overall, you know, I hope you have enjoyed the body count run and uh, all of the... all of the story that we got to see because of it, and I hope that it wasn't too traumatizing or too upsetting during all of the... Uh, instances. Uh, in Mass Effect 2 and 3, we will continue doing extraneous things to just be an awful person in general, in addition to just murdering people. But that is a story for uh, another video. So thank you all so much for following my playthrough of Mass Effect, the body count run, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye now.